Time Lord Victorious is a multi-platform Doctor Who story launching in September 2020 over 12 weeks, with products being released even in January 2021. Products such as books, audio dramas, comic books, and even escape rooms and games will all help to tie into the overall narrative of the story. This video is one in a series of videos where I attempt to organise every product that's been announced and work out the cheapest way of experiencing the story for those who are interested in giving it a go. So if you like this video, make sure you click like and subscribe for more Doctor Who videos. I do make them fairly frequently and make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified when the next Time Lord Victorious video goes up. So last night, Time Lord Victorious had its own panel at San Diego Comic Con at home. This is the virtual replacement event for San Diego Comic Con, which obviously could not take place this year because of the coronavirus pandemic. Although the panel featured the writers and artists from Titan Comics contribution to Time Lord Victorious, James Goss was also present, who is in charge of the overall Time Lord Victorious story, and he had a lot of things to say as well. So I'm going to run down the most important th things from the panel. First of all, we had the release date for Titan Comics' second comic book contribution to Time Lord Victorious, titled Time Lord Victorious Issue 2, and it is out October 7th. It is available to pre-order from ForbiddenPlanet.com for a price of £3.75, but it does have a £1 delivery cost to the United Kingdom. To save money on the physical copy, you can create an account at ForbiddenPlanet.com for free and subscribe to the series. Although you'll still have to pay the delivery cost, you will end up with a 12% saving on the price of the comic book, resulting in £3.30 instead of £3.75, and both comic books will be sent to you when they release. With issue 1, this means you won't be able to choose between the variant covers, you will be stuck with cover A. So we can only assume that the same will be of issue 2, you will just get whichever variant they choose to give for the subscription. At the time of recording, there was no way to pre-order this digitally, but if we assume the same as issue 1, it will be available on Comixology, but the cheapest way will be to order it from Amazon Shopping in the Kindle and Comixology format which for issue 1 was £3.83. They also announced that both issue 1 and issue 2 would be released as a collection, but this could be a month or more after the initial release of both comics. And at a price of £9.65 from ForbiddenPlanet.com, with a £2 delivery fee to the United Kingdom, this is not the cheapest way to experience the story. So including Time Lord Victorious Issue 2, the cheapest way that I've found to experience the story with every item physically is £105.84. This is not including Time Fracture, which has its own associated costs like transport and food that will be different for everybody. And to receive a digital item of everything announced so far, you would pay £71.63, not including Time Fracture. Besides this product, James Goss also addressed the scope of the project. He said that all Doctor Who licensees were involved in the project and that it would cover 10 mediums and around 35 products. Among these, he confirmed an escape room, which can be assumed to be Escape Hunt's contribution to Time Lord Victorious, as well as games. And we know that Maze Theory are working on two Doctor Who titles. One is a console game, which will be playable not in virtual reality, and the other is a mobile game. So it's highly likely that one or both of these titles will be Time Lord Victorious. Now when he says 35 products, I'm assuming he counts the variant covers for Time Lord Victorious Titan Comics as different products. But of all the standalone products that have been announced so far that I've spoken about in my other videos, I make a count of 20 original products, which is no small feat. James Goss also gave an update on Time Fracture, which is the immersive event. He said that out of all of the products, this one was the maddest one. He also said that this was the one that he was afraid was going to be cancelled, which I speculated in my Time Fracture video. But as a reassurance, he confirmed that all licensees have found a way forward. In fact, Immersive Everywhere, who produced Time Fracture, have also produced the immersive event The Great Gatsby. And this is the first immersive show that has reopened in the UK after lockdown. Me and Shaq have already got our Gallifrey and Coin token ready to go to the Time Fracture event as soon as it opens, and we will be doing a video on that when it does, so make sure you stick around. He also said that the escape room was looking into ways to reopen safely, which makes me think that it's something that you will have to travel to and it won't be a play at home game. 
So those are the main announcements from the panel, but I highly recommend that you go and watch this panel and I'll put the link in the description. It was really good listening to the writers and the artists of these comics and seeing how they prepared to make the story and how they remain faithful to the show. In addition, many of them had advice to those who may be interested in getting into comic book writing and drawing, as well as general Doctor Who discussion. So there we are, thanks very much for watching guys, make sure you click like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when the next Doctor Who video goes up. And I will be doing more videos on Time Lord Victorious products and the cheapest way to get them when they are announced. So in the meantime check out my Time Lord Victorious playlist to see all the products so far. If you want to support our channel you can do so by going to coffee.com forward slash skybotfilm where you can donate us the price of a coffee which you set at £2. You can do that as many times as you want or you don't even have to do it at all just so we can get better equipment and make better videos for you guys. Once again thanks very much for watching I'll see you next time. Bye!